and sisters, today indeed is one of the most memorable and most awaited special occasion, not only for students, but also to our proud and supportive parents. This afternoon's event marks our success after months of study, struggle, and hard work as students of the Divine Word College of Kalapam. Now, let us join our hearts and minds together as a community of faith, hope, and love to celebrate the Holy Eucharist in thanksgiving for the blessings of the Lord in our life, especially the love, care, and incomparable sacrifices of our parents, guardians, and dynamic teachers. May all their efforts in educating us throughout the years bear abundant fruits. With our main celebrant, Father Robert Alan Mikan SVD, together with DWCC SVD priest administrators, please all rise and with one heart and voice, let us sing the entrance hymn. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grieved this sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin and to all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. You were sent to heal the bond pride of heart. Oh, 
Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may, at your prompting, discern what is right, and by your goodness do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. But the word of the Lord came to him. Go outside and stand in the mountain before the Lord, and the Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. A voice said to him, Elijah, why are you here? He replied, I have been most zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. But the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant torn down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I, alone, and am left, and they seek to take my life. And the Lord said to him, Go, take the road back to the desert near Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Heziel as the king of Aram. Then you shall anoint Jehu, the son of Nimshi, as the king of Israel, and Elisha, the son of Shaphat of Abel-Mehola, as the prophet to succeed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I long to 
Presence, O oh Lord, uh, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Please rise to give honor to the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard it said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense shall you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
So, malaking pagkakaiba ang ating mga readings sa araw na ito. Sa una, galing aklat ng Kings na o oh, maraming karahasan, maraming dugo, maraming pag maraming poot sa kapwa. Pikla, love your neighbor. Nung pasimula, naroon si Elijah. Sinikap niya hadlangin ang mga tao, si Jezebel at mga iba na gusto baguhin ang relihiyon, Gusto kunin ang di tamang relihiyon, magsa itatag sa bansa. At sa tulong na ng Diyos, ipinakita na mali yun. Pero sa halip, hinahabol siya as gusto siyang patayin. Nalulungkot siya, halos nagagalit siya sa Diyos dahil sa masama na nakikita. Pero unti-unti, dahil sa lindol, dahil sa kitlat, dahil sa ulan, dahil sa, sa malambot na hangin, na unawa na ang Diyos ay maamo, hindi lagi handa, patayin, masakta ng iba. Nakisip, yun unang pagbasa ay parang konting ka, nung pasimula at nung nakaroon mga pagbasa, nakaroon mga araw, katulad ng nangyayari sa Ukraine na yun. Isang taong pumasok at pag sinasabi ng mga ibang bansa sa kanya na mali siya, naging mas marahas, pinatay maras, mas maraming tao. Um, malimit ang mga giyera na sisimula galing sa pride galing sa pagmamahal sa sarili lang at handa patayin maraming tao para patunayin na ikaw ay tama. Problema, pinapapatay na, hindi ka tama. Pero ngayon, parang itong Ebanghelyo ay parang lesson, parang pag-aaral tungkol sa nakaraan. Huwag maging galit sa kapwa, huwag lumaban sa kapwa, Huwag maging handang makiganti sa kapwa. Sapagkat pinauulanan ng Diyos ang mabuti at ang masama. E pinasisikat ang kanyang araw sa mabuti at sa masama. Isip ko ito, lalo na sa araw na ito. Nung high school ako, o oh, matagal na yan, um, meron isang lalaki sa klase namin, akala ko na medyo suplado siya, pero mabait naman. Pero isang hapon, sabi niya, ano man, di maganda tungkol sa akin, tungkol sa aking pamilya. Hindi, namin, hindi niya kami nakilala sapagkat galing sa ibang bayan. Pero mula dyan, tininan ko siya bilang kaaway. Di kailanman umimik sa kanya, iniiwasan siya kahit sa pareho ang klase. Dalawang taon pagkatapos, Umalis siya. Narinig na umalis para pumasok sa seminaryo para mag-aaral upang maging paring misyonero. Nagtaka ako, pero nag-isip, well, baka may kamalian ako sa, baka tama siya sa sabay, itong ka sa akin, at baka magiging mabuting pare. Uli, hindi siya nakita uli. Pero parang, o oh, tatlong pong taon, hindi nakita. Nung graduate ako sa high school, lumabas ako, pumasok sa university, nag-aral para maging teacher muna. Nagturo limang taon. Pagkatapos, iniwanan ang school at pumasok sa seminaryo para maging parang misyonero. Na hindi ko napansin makikita yon uli sapagkat pumunta siya sa Timog America, sa Brazil, Sao Paulo. Ako ang sinugo, sinunog sa Resinugo, sa Pilipinas. Pero isang araw na may bakasyon kaming dalawa, nakita siya. Hindi, po, hindi muna siya nakilala. Pero siyang lumapit sa akin, naging napakabait, sabi niya na narinig niya na nagpapare ako, kumusta dyan sa Pilipinas? At nagkwento matagal tungkol sa Pilipinas, tungkol sa Timog Amerika na unawaan ko na ang aming pagkakapatiran 
ang higit na malakas kaysa ang pagkakaaway. At galing dyan, nakikita ang napakaraming tao, mababaiin niya, mabait ang lahat, na alis. Baka may tao na hindi nakakaunawaan sa isa't isa. Baka mayroon nag-aaway dati. Tandaan minsan sa high school, nagbibigay ng komunyan. Nagbibigay ako ng komunyan. At dalawang estudyante nagsimula suntukan. Galit na galit ang mga teacher, lalo na naka, nakakahiya, lalo na sapagkat dalawang dalaga na nagsasuntukan. Pero narinig pagkatapos, pumunta silang dalawa sa divine. Naging mga kapatid, kahit kapatid na babae. Naunawaan unti-unti, salamat sa Diyos, dahil sa kanilang pag-aaral, dahil sa kanilang buhay sa divine, na pinasisikat ng Diyos ang araw sa mabuti at sa mga masasama, pinauulanan, pinauulanan niya naman ang mga mabubuti at ang masama. At may oportunidad silang magkasundo. Na matagal hindi napansin na para kay Jesus ang pagkikipagkasundo at ang pagpapatawad ang pinakamahalaga sa ating buhay. Tandaan, niya, tandaan natin ang mga salita sa panalangin ng Eukristiya. Ito ang kalis ng aking dugo, ng bago at walang hanggang tipan na ibubuhos para sa ikapagkakasundo o para sa pagpapatawad ng mga kasalanan. Ito ang isang sentral na layunin ng pagdating ni Jesus dito sa mundo. Ito ba ko para sa bawat isa sa atin? Kung meron tao na hindi masyadong gusto, na hindi masyadong kilala, sana'y sikapin maging kaibigan sa kanila bago lumabas ng Divine World College. Hindi na pagkaraming panahon na yun, pero please, kahit saan kayo nag-aaral at um- umaasa ko mag-aaral kayong lahat sa Divine, sana'y maging kaibigan. Sana'y maging kapatid ng isa't isa. Sana'y maging anak ng Diyos. Bawat isa sa atin. Sapagkat nakikita mula sa pasimula ng ating Ebanghelyo, mahal ng Diyos tayong lahat. Huwag katulad ko, hintay tatlong pang ura, tatlong pang taon bago magkasundo sa sino man na magbigay ng sakit sa inyo sa high school, kundi maging handa, mahalin ang isa't isa, handa pagtiwalaan ang isa't isa, handa tulungan at ikalang ang bawat isa sa atin dito sa gymnasium at kahit saan pupunta sa mundo. Salamat. Please rise. God promises happiness to those who follow His law, who seek Him with all their hearts. Let us pray to Him now in that common bond of fidelity. In every petition, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father and the bishops, through their teaching and way of life, may encourage the flock to follow Christ's way of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all schools, colleges, and universities, especially the Divine Word College of Calapan, that they may be lively centers for sound learning, new discovery, and the pursuit of wisdom, and grant that those who teach and those who learn may find you to be the source of all truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all parents, that they may seek every opportunity to send their children in Catholic institution 
to instill their heart and mind the legacy of Catholic faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us who gathered here, that Christ may inspire us to grow constantly as human persons, and that our goodness and our love may make our words acceptable and believable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in this time of global pandemic, God will give us the grace to know His presence in our everyday lives and to know Him as our constant companion in times of loneliness, our gladness in times of suffering, and our sure hope in times of uncertainty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may behold the things that no eyes have seen and no ears has heard. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and everlasting Father, enlighten our lives with your law of love and keep us on the right road which leads to your kingdom. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Twisted by the gifts we bring to you. Of the old earth receive a new. They can bless the word of our hands. Twisted by these gifts at your command.
Please rise. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifices at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly on our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is God. right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we
prayer for? As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nestor, our administrator, all the religious and the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Arnold Johnson and Saint Joseph, her inanimates, and all the saints who have pleased you for all the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with and your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be here. Please be seated. Oh, 
Please rise. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Almighty Father, we praise and thank you for all the blessings that you have given us. Bless these students that they will live according to your words and deeds and offer themselves for the mission that you have started. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much to everyone. I hope we all will stay together as we are together now. Strengthened by God's Word and the Eucharist, go now and share what you have received with those you meet on your ongoing life journey. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God.
or in the presence and the pandemic has altered the world. Our typical way of life has abruptly changed to a new normal as we celebrate important events. This hasn't always been simple, but one thing we've learned is that no crisis or life's adversary can keep us from continuing our professional development and progress. This day signifies our passion, commitment, and resilience to move forward despite the tribulation in life. After a year of patiently waiting, finally, we mark this day for rejoicing in the next step every student must undertake to open up another important stage in their lives. It is an honor to be here for this special event, which is the high point of the academic year because we will celebrate our dear students' accomplishments and academic achievements. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the six senior high school recognition exercises with the theme, DWCC graduates, competent, resilient, and stewards of creation amidst adversities. May I request everyone to please all stand for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by the Mimaropa March and Calapan City Hymn to be conducted by Miss Gwen Aries Legaspi of Grade 11, Stem C, St. Blaise. Hi, 
Now, to set the tone for this afternoon's event, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you Ms. Natalie Beatriz Mexico of Grade 11, ABM St. Philip Neri, for her welcome address. Let us give her a warm round of applause. To our dear school principal, directors, teachers, advisors, parents, and to my fellow completer of the academic year 2021 to 2022, it's an honor to stand here and greet everyone with a pleasant afternoon. Seeing all of us here sitting and waiting to receive each of our own medals warms my heart. With us being present here is an enough proof already that we have survived another challenging chapter of our lives. And it is now time to move on to the next. However, before we move forward, I would like for all of us to remember and savor the moment. This moment where we can all taste the sweet, fruitful outcome of our unending efforts, our shed tears, frustrations, joy and excitement that we all collectively felt during this entire academic year didn't go to waste. Instead, with our courage to move forward and overcome all the obstacles caused by the pandemic, we are now all here, present, sitting, and waiting to receive each of our own awards. On this note, on behalf of my fellow completers, I would like to thank our Almighty God who protected us and granted us enough knowledge, wisdom, and courage. Urge our journey may not have the smoothest start, but with the continuous support from our parents, friends, school faculty, and its administration, and especially ourselves, we have once again made it. Thus, we're a step closer to our dreams. In addition, I would also like to acknowledge on behalf of the class 2021 to 2022, the presence of our kind and hardworking basic education principal, Dr. Fideliza A. Nambata. Likewise, 
Let us all also welcome with warm open arms our basic education director, Brother Hubertus Guru SVD, and Sir Wendal as Gaspan. To my fellow completers of academic year 2021 to 2022, again, welcome and big congratulations for making it this far with flying colors. Before I end my speech, I would like to share a short quotation that really left a deep impression on me. To quote unquote from Thomas Edison, many of life's failure are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. With this, I hope that no matter what challenges or overwhelming pressure we face in the near future, remember that it is okay to take a break and recollect our breath for a second. But we should never give up. Instead, when in doubt about our capabilities and decisions, take a pause and try to remember what made you keep going this far. Thus, from this moment onwards, let us all keep moving forward and remember also that with our strong will, we can achieve a lot of great things. Once again, welcome everyone. Big congratulations and thank you for not giving up. Thank you very much for your welcoming address. And now, may we call on Brother Hubert Guru SVD for his inspirational message. A round of applause, please. Father Crispy Ney Cordero, our college president. Father June Castro, our VP at admin. Father Alan Mekhan, SVD, our campus ministry assistant. Dr. Phil Nambatak, the basic education principal. Faculty members, parents, students, Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. I have been here for almost two years in DWCC, but this is my first time to see the students personally. You know, it, it, it really is quite awesome to see shining eyes and faces glancing over the top of masks, and you all seem ready and back to track with full of enthusiasm and energy to be on your tooth again. Even though your mask sometimes irritates you. Kung titingnan natin yung mask to, Tanggal ko, okay, magiging, magiging cue ka, cue tayo. Pero kung babalik natin yung mas, naging irritate, lalo-lalo kung medyo mga amoy na, iba-ibang amoy ng mas natin, yun ang magiging irritate sa atin lahat ko, yun. Yes, it is indeed irritating us because you did not see your classmate physically, you did not eat the fish ball in the canteen inside the campus with your classmates. We never interact with one another. We did not hear your noise inside the campus for almost two years. I miss it. Indeed, this virus makes our life miserable. Remember, the COVID-19 cannot erase your teenage achievements in acquiring knowledge from our beloved DWCC institutions, nor did the COVID-19 pandemic destroy your future. In fact, the COVID-19 surrender to your spirit of learning Surrender to your commitment and enthusiasm to gain new knowledge. 
You even diverted it to your new pursuit of education like TikTok, Zoom meeting for classes, YouTube, Moodle, and moms, and most attractive is the social media. Because using social media platforms as a way of to enhance the education of the students. Using social media is used for our benefits. It's used for the positive education in our daily lives. Now, my question is, are you using the social media for our education? Or we are using the social media para kay marites? Hindi ko alam yun. Baka ikaw lang makaalam kung marites ba ako o hindi. I strongly believe that you are competent, you are resilient, and stewards of learning have made an act not only for personal commitment, but also one of pride. I am proud, indeed, you have maximized the social media for your learning and develop your skills, even for your business. I have noticed some of the ABM students did very good in their online selling. However, IONSA studies on the social media impact on the students, they say that the studies focus on impact of social media reflects and reflected that 38% of the students focus on the positive role of the social media for their studies, while 60% of the students agreed on this strongly, but 40% disagreed. Mataas mo yun. 40% did not agree. Tapos, 4.7% of students strongly disagree that social media helps them in the study. It is also clear that social media, the impact of it, both genders and according to the results, it can be seen that 53% of female students are getting the negative impact of social media on their studies, while 46% disagreed this point. In the male students, 40% agrees that social media has a negative impact on studies, while 59% disagreed on this note. Notion. Imagine what that's for you, fifty-nine percent. So, looking at this result of the study, I have a challenge for you, as a DWCC student who love the social media very, very much. How will you convince yourself, your family members? your friends to prudently use our social media for our educational purposes. This can be done if you have strong self-discipline, self-conviction, and self-determination. If we can surpass this challenge of worldwide concern, then our recognition today is indeed becomes our achievement of our journey in education. 
So my dear students, if you experience hardship from your professors, your faculty members, as awkward as it may sound, these are always meant for you. These are made to build you up, to hone you, to strengthen you. Failures are like little bumps on the road. And what keeps us going is the thought that all will end well. These two shall us. Remember, our God is there. He is there. Just trust Him. Just trust Him. And with that, is the constant strive to seek and unlock truths, investigate, research, and make discoveries. Be brave and never be afraid of obstacles. For no great man has ever gone through life without misfortunes and failures. Life is never a piece of a sweet lollipop. As they say, pressures make diamonds. Now may I ask the students to please stand up. Okay, please. Pakitayo po lahat ng estudyante. Okay, now, you, you face to your parents. Face to your parents and then bow and say thank you. Bow and thank you. Okay, please sit down. To the parents and guardians who have worked so hard and gave their best to your children, no matter how hard life is, hearts of po ako sa inyo. Saludo po ako sa inyo. Thank you very much for entrusting your children to the care of the DWCC. To our teachers and staff who have done the tremendous task, job well done. Marami salamat po teachers at mga staff ng DWCC. Congratulations po for your new season of adventure. Smile on. Hope on. Trust God. Continue to become the source of light for others, for family members, and of course, for yourselves. Just trust yourself. You can make it. My dearest divinistas, once again, my sincere congratulations for your success. Don't ever give up. Glaring, use the social media wisely. Use the social media wisely and enjoy life in the midst of the adversities. Thank you. Thank you so much, brother, for that inspiring message. It is truly inspiring. And now for the most awaited part of our program, we are to give the rightful recognition for deserving students who will be awarded medals and certificates. We would like to request the students and the parents to come up on stage to give the award to their children together with Father Greece. It is my honor to present the following students who will be awarded medals and certificate from STEM A, St. Leonard, under the supervision of Ma'am Lady Jane Calderon, John Wilhelm Abaha, with honors.
Justin Ray Alberto with honors. Vince Jerry Cabral with honors. Siron Cruzado with honors. PJ Manalo with honors. Angel Jasper Naling with honors. May I request the parents to accompany their child as they receive the award. Thank you. Ubando with honors. Mark Joshua Ordanza with honors. Carl Jansen Raimundo with honors. Venice Fatima Albay with honors. Erika Lainet Almoneda with honors. Stephanie Grace Andres with honors. the parents to accompany their child. Thank you very much. J.D. Paula de la Cruz with honors. Mary Madeline de los Reyes with honors. Alexandra Hesha Foja with honors. Julia Paula Consuelo Lasquite with honors. Samantha Daphne Lebon Facil with honors.
Maria Serafi Matujo with honors. May I request the parents to please come up on stage? Napa with honors. Luisi Joy Panu with honors. Christine Joy Rodelas with honors. Jana Nikita Talents with honors. Honors! Vince Darso May Zulueta with honors! Jod Audrey Okoba with high honors and leadership awardee for being the class mayor. Parents, please come up on stage. Memory call Heron with high honors and leadership awardee for being the student council representative. Liza Quinsley Ahilion with high honors. Jean Claudette Albo with high honors. And April Gailey Calderon with high honors.
Congratulations, Temi. At this point, it's my honor to present the following students who will be awarded medals and certificates from STEMB St. Ambrose. I'd like to request Brother Hubert to give the award. Alaric Alcayin with honors. Ted Adji Antinor with honors. Mike Errol Bangalisan with honors. Christian Astrid Bellina with honors. Gabriel Cabral with honors. Rafael de Guzman with honors. Clint Aaron Estrada with honors. Timothy Manalo with honors. Jim Wellman Nibo with honors. Gil Gabriel Narvaez with honors. Carlos Oliver Talens II with honors. Nea Vilen with honors. Jamie Jamante with honors. Andre Yeti Justin Humi with honors. Yanka Cassandra Martinez with honors. Alisa Mingoza with honors. Mikaela Osinsao with honor. Jewel Cassandra Pastrana with honors.
Ibrin Nicole Perez with honors. Princess Diana Ramirez with honors. Janela Elaine Rukido with honors. Camille Princess Salazar with honors. Miguel Nicolai Cabral with high honors. Dexter Fahilagutan with high honors. Gwyneth Maika Cabral with high honors and leadership awardee for being the class mayor. And Maria Ayin Ondoy with high honors. Congratulations, Tambi. It is my honor to present the following students who will be awarded medals and certificates from STEM C. St. Place under the supervision of Mom Ariel and TV I would like to request Father G to give the award. Mark Lloyd Vengua with honors. Brent Billy Dedel with honors. Renz Edward Duenas with honors. Paul Hernan Gamad with honors. Carlos Miguel Magalin with honor. Carmel Jade Mirabita with honor.
Von Elise Palma with honors. Little Ashley Adarlo with honors. Irome Albo with honors. Janelle Francine Bayon with honors. Ninya Erlin Carion with honors. Alessandra Grace Del Mundo with honors. Arabella Grace Gagani with honors. Riza Sofia Hernandez with honors. Alexa Zane Infantado with honors. Micaela Ortega with honors. Jasmine San Victores with honors. Nadine Talents with honors. Ranzi May Tangin with honors. Jamie Dara Valpancha with honors and leadership awardee for being the Student Council Vice President. Raika Cueto with high honors. Jace Cell Espina with high honors. Nika Angela Garcia with high honors. Gwen Aries Legaspi with high honors and leadership awardee for being the class mayor. Jasmine Claire Managit 
with high honors. Congratulations, Tamsi. It is my honor to present the following students who will be awarded medals and certificates from ABM, St. Philip Neri, under the supervision of Maria, Ma Marian Agan. I'd like to request Father Alan to give the award. Luigi Agutaya with honors. James Patrick Diasis with honors. Jomel Frane with honors. Justin May Abbas with honors. Lizette Ann Isabel Antaran with honors. Kaizen Nicole Anchokia with honors. Angel Antonio with honors. Neya Kabantog with honors. Sophia Kabatik with honors. Nadine Grace Casa with honors. Annabelle Lauren Cole with honors. Danaya Kuiza Edna Lagim with honors. Princess Cara Dorothy Kate Heron with honors and leadership award you for being the student council auditor. Carmela Cassandra Midrano with honors.
Sai Marie Jomel Romero with honors. Juana Francine Sakdalan with honors. Darwin Jane Sebastian with honors. Luis Andre Ferreira with high honors and leadership awardee for being the class mayor. Kira Sandria Aldava with high honors. And Krisha Apasan with high honors. Kale Aryan for y'all with high honors. Rochelle Ann Florendo with high honors. Geraldine Hervasso with high honors. Jenna Mae Maling with high honors. Natalie Beatriz Mexico with high honors. Bea Jasmine Mendeja with high honors. Kezaya Muriel Mores with high honors. And Milsen Umali with high honors. Thank you very much. It is with distinct honor to present to you the list of students to be honored for their performance under the section of Humanities and Social Sciences under the supervision of Mam Pamela P. Salandana.
may we request the presence of Dr. Fideliza A. Nambata for the awarding of medals and certificates. Mr. Huey Ertzdentin El Abraham with honors. Maria Anya Cristel M. Agutaya with honors. Israel N. Arukan with honors. Prince Charles G. Bilo with honors. And Miss Joy Ann Chiara C. Bolor with honors. May we request the parents to come up on stage. Miss Christine Janelle V. Caragayan with honors. Jasmine O. Combo with honors. Prince Harry C. Corona with honors. Roda Merides G. Dapito with honors. And Miss Danica Altea Gail M. De Los Santos with honors. May we request the parents to please come up on stage. Carol Kim F. Duenas with honors. Phoebe Sofia Estrevillo with honors. Alexa Sofia S. Gahol with honors. Alessandra Sofia S. Gahol with honors. Mia Paula Golo with honors. And Miss Ella Cristina D. Martinez with high honors and with leadership award as for being the mayor of the section.
very much. It is also with distinct honor to present to you the list of students to be honored for their performance under the section of Technical, Vocational, and Livelihood Strand under the supervision of Ms. Arab Joy P. Gabuyo. Requesting again the presence of Dr. Fidelisa A. Nambata for the awarding. Mr. Von Philip Samuel N. Amar with honors. A. N. Jeff B. Katapa with honors. Stephanie Suzanne G. Doctor with honors and leadership award for being the mayor of EVL. And Miss Cindy G. Mendoza with honors. Requesting the parents. Thank you very much, dear students, parents, and guardians. At this juncture, let us be all ears to no less than Mr. Luis Ferreira himself as he encapsulates everything his high school life has to offer. A big hand for him. Culminating everything that has happened within the past year, more specifically within the first semester of the school year, an activity in my philosophy module asked a very, very, very relevant question. A question in which I never thought I would dwell on as much as I did as I went through this year, unbeknownst of the realizations that I would face or inevitably have to deal with. The question that was asked stemmed from the very idea of abrupt alterations. And it went like, is change good? Is change good or bad for a person or for the world? The question itself was straightforward. It addressed the rightness or wrongness of a certain pivotal moment where everything just completely shifts. Never realizing its significance in the status quo, I simply answered it with, um, neither. Change is, of course, inevitable. It's neither good or bad. It's there. And what matters more is how we react to it, how we respond to change, and how we adapt to change. And this certain dichotomy of an influential catalyst and someone susceptible someone susceptible, has been the resounding theme of my educational endeavor as a transferee thus far and as a student like all of you studying in a time of complete isolation. With that being said to the present distinguished guests, to the parents gracing the bleachers, to the students occupying the chairs below, the administrative staff just right behind me and all over the gym, along with our dearest principal, Dr. Fidelisa A. Nambatak, our father, President Father Crispin Cordero, SVD, Brother Roberto Guru, SVD, Sir Wendell C. S. Gaspan, and finally to the faculty of teachers, my sincerest and warmest felicitations. Acquiring the honor of addressing such an important speech was not part of my grade 11 bingo card, nor was it ever. Yet, I am so honored to be right here in front of you all in doing so. 
Two weeks ago, I was given the amazing opportunity to speak in front of prospective senior high school students. And within the things I shared were my fears and anxieties towards changes and environments. I said that adapting is like looking at the unknown, where everything feels completely vague, where everything just where everything just thrives off of uncertainty and where everything just feels completely lost. Furthermore, I stated that change can come into our lives as a result of a crisis, much like what we are all experiencing right now. I also said that change can also come from our choices and by chance. In either situation, we are all faced with the decision of having to make one single choice. Do we make the change or not? The way we have to change the way we think, the way we feel, the way we act, the way we move, and the way we live, just so that we can accommodate a change that is so influential that everything we used to do before can now be deemed obsolete. For a more general approach, uh, consider the plethora of effects brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. It altered our perspective of both life and living, reinforcing the idea that anything and everything can happen within a period of time and that changes are always bound to occur. And this alteration brought by the pandemic has, has amalgamated into changes that we definitely did not want, changes that, we, that have more or less helped us, and changes that we all collectively suffered from. This tipping point in time led us into thinking the worst, experiencing the worst, and acting out the worst. Truth be told, changing is never easy. It requires a great deal of dedication and support from yourself and from the people around you. However, the fact that at this very moment wherein we are all present, we're in just a while ago, we were waiting for our names to be called just because we achieved something so significant despite the overwhelming change and alterations proves how we refuse to stay complacent during the onset of change and that we showed how capable we are in adapting, in achieving anything we set our minds into. Let it be known that we wouldn't have made it this far without the people who have made this very moment into reality. To the, to the administration, the staff, the teachers, and the whole institution as a whole. Thank you so much for making this event truly possible. The sacrifices y'all have made all over the year, the hard, work and commitment you, the hard work and commitment you all have put in to ensure that no stone or student is left unturned or uneducated. And it just goes to show how much you all value teaching, how much you all value the core principle of spreading knowledge, and how much you all have been our pillars in learning. And with that, we are very, very grateful. So thank you, genuinely, to the parents, especially mine, um, who have been our constant support systems, supporting our every decision, supporting our every decision and providing us with our needs inside and outside the vicinity of the classroom. Thank you so, so much. Please know that our endeavors are etched with your efforts and constant reminders that we will forever live by. To my fellow classmates, ABM, to my schoolmates, and to my peers, note that we are all skin and bone trained to get along. We went with the flow and it bore fruitful friendships, companionships, and relationships that we will treasure for the rest of our lives. Lastly, I need all of you, I need all of you to take one last trip down memory lane and reminisce all the sacrifices, all the efforts, and all the risks you all have made just to make sure you get through one more year of online learning in one piece. Know that I, along with so many others, are so, so proud of you. For the past two to three years of isolated learning, two to three years of constant mental and physical chaos, Two to three years of constant rants within our prospective online GCs na pagod na ako. Let's be certain of one thing. That change, that the future will always be unpredictable. A lot can happen in a year. A lot can happen within a short period of time. 
and we all learn that the hard way. Despite this, it's important to note how we only have one year left, one last year before we set our wings and fly off onto our next educational endeavor. Though slated, we can never really determine or hypothesize what will happen next year. So what I want you all to do right now is to take a deep breath, raise your heads, keep your mind open, and seize tomorrow with strength and purpose and treasure today like it's your last. Please remember that change impacts people differently. Some can easily surf and ride the currents of change while some go screaming, helping, and wailing for help. However, it is our power, our power of choice to adapt that enables us to activate the positive change in our lives. Again, to all the students here, believe me genuinely, I am so, so proud of you all for adapting. So, so proud of you for changing to accommodate the needs of the time, for being fearless, and for facing every fear and anxiety that you have, and still coming out strong and with pride. To the parents, and to the teachers, and to the whole institution, thank you so much for adapting with them. Thank you so much for adapting with us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Luis Andre Ferreira. At this juncture, to end this day's program, may we call on our very energetic and hardworking principal, Dr. Fidelisa A. Nambata, for further announcements. Let's give her a warm round of applause. A pleasant afternoon po to our SBD administrators, to our teachers and staff, my dear parents, and to you, my dear students. This is our last ceremony for this school year 2021-2022. We are done with our graduation for elementary, junior high, senior high Kalapan, and senior high Pinamalayan. We are done too with the recognition with the elementary, junior high, and senior high Pinamalayan. And we did it face to face. So we should be really thankful to God for giving us the chance to have this face to face ceremony. I know, my dear students, that you encountered so much trial in your grade 11 senior high school education, but you did it. In fact, you were awarded and you received medals. You were recognized, and I hope that this recognition will serve as your inspiration to strive more and to study harder next year. I hope that you will be awarded again by next year. I know your parents are so proud of you. So always make your parents proud of you. You can do it. I know well you can do it. Just always remember my saying, hindi ko ito nakakalimutan sabihin, no? Kahit paulit-ulit, no? Because I also rely on it. And what is that? Always remember that if others can, why can't I? So if others can be successful in life, you can be successful too. Your success is also our success. But it should always be with hard work, my dear students, with hard work. We are not, we are not yet really sure if it is face-to-face -face or online by next year, but let's wait. But for whatever the modality is, always har study harder. And 
To you, my dear parents, thank you very much for choosing Divine World College of Calapan for the education of your children. Don't worry po, we are really giving them the best education, the quality education they need. Please, my dear parents, continuously patronize our school, enroll at the Divine World College of Calapan, wherein Although I'm not the principal anymore by next year because I will retire soon by mandatory age, I hope that you will continuously choose Divine World College of Calapan for the education of your children. And before I end my message, I want you to know that our enrollment for grade 12 education of your children will be on June 20. And they will get, they can get their cards on June 16. So hope to see you again in this institution by next school year. And to you, my dear students, congratulations. Thank you very much, Mamfe. And now, may I request everyone to please stand up as we sing the Divine Word College of Calapan hymn to be conducted by Miss Gwen Aries Legaspi. Once again, congratulations, dear students. The closing, the closing hour has finally arrived. Tomorrow, new challenges and opportunities await our learners that will further test their mettle as improving individuals. As they continue with their journey, may they look back on this stage in their life with fondness and pride. On behalf of the school's administrative staff and faculty, we joyfully congratulate the students, their parents, and advisors. We sincerely thank all of those who helped and supported us and all our guests who attended this momentous event. Marami pong salamat at mabuhay tayong lahat! Together with Sir Edel Cuevas, once again, yours truly, I am Dr. Joshua A. Apolonio, and we are your Masters of Ceremony. Thank you.